This episode is made possible by listeners just like you. If you want to help fund future shows, please head over to x1bros.com forward slash support. Welcome to podcast number 53. We are your positive gaming and Xbox One community. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we are. I got to turn myself up. There we go. Um, yeah, you sound great, I think. Yeah, thank you. you could probably bump yourself up maybe like 1%, oh, but oh, you might be good. Okay, I will. Anyways, <laughs> this is podcast number 53. 53. Yeah. 53. That is big time. Cinquente Trace, yes. I believe it's how it's <laughs> how it's said. Without. Anyway, some announcements before we get started. The FIFA tournament starts March 28th, which is next Saturday. Tweet me, message me, get a hold of me on Xbox One or Xbox Live. Um, if you want to be a part of the tournament, I've already had a couple people sign up, sending me all the information. So that starts next Saturday. I will put together the brackets, the tournament. The nice thing is on FIFA... It has its own tournament builder in there, so that's oh cool, oh, that's nice. nice. So we can send out invites and stuff through Xbox Live. The iDarb tournament is still underway, Mister McSpicy. How about an update? <laughs> there's not, uh, there hasn't been a lot of uh, activity in the iDarb section. I know there's a couple of games happening right after this show. I lost yeah. my uh, game. Yeah. Uh, we are free. we excellent. are officially finished with round or we're on round two. We're on working on round three right now. So oh, okay. those that have made it to round three is Organic Avenger and Franchise. Not, who, nice. And I hear Organic is the guy to beat. Yeah, actually, he's very good. He's very he's, good. He's the man to beat. I did not know you could have fifteen point shots uh, in that game, and I had a couple Whoa. of scoring against me. Uh, and but but To uh, was kind enough to show me how to do it. So. <laughs> So I'm ready. Okay. Even though I'm knocked out of the tournament. Wow. <laughs> and T.O. Next year. T.O. Next year, is there. dare free. Dare free. The, he Correct. changed his yes. gamer tag He did change his. T.O. stands for uh, Toronto. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, we're still waiting for some uh, some of the loser's bracket rounds. Um, so if you did lose, you're still in it. So uh, you can come back and win. So uh, just so you know, be sure to play those. If you are in the tournament, um, but yeah, exciting things on that front. Absolutely. Uh, we just wanted to give a big thanks. We got a bunch of new Patreon uh, campaign pledges, so thank you so much. Head over to x1bros.com forward slash support to uh, subscribe, to pledge, to support us, to help the community grow. Just wanted to say thank you to all our new uh, Patreon pledgers. And last but not least, some big news. You like uh, you guys have seen Ori in the Blind Forest, correct? Yeah. The gameplay. Yeah. Do you uh, like I the music? On, what thoughts I, on the music? I plan on playing the snot out of that this weekend. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna finish it. Music thoughts on music? Beautiful music. The Beautiful. whole the whole game is art, especially the music. Yes, yeah. it is. Big news. We have Gareth Coker. Yes, the composer of Ori and the Blind Forest. He will be joining us. Uh, he will be on this podcast. It'll be a pre-recorded interview. But it will uh, drop on the podcast on April 2nd. Yeah, we're hoping. Yeah. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, if you have questions you'd like to ask him about composing music for video games, this isn't his first video game that he's done. This is just the biggest um, or the most successful, I would probably say, yeah. in looking over what I could see anyways. Um, if you have any questions... Send them our way. We will uh, we'll send out messages on Facebook and Twitter uh, for you guys to send us questions before we interview him. Uh, so be thinking of, of some cool questions. Not every day you get to interview someone who has composed excellent music for a great game like Ori and the Blind Force. So big thanks to Gareth. We are all very excited for that. First and foremost. Hold on. Oh, yes. No, no let's just, just introduce us. I okay. got something to say. <laughs> okay. As always, joined by the bros, the X1 bros. First and foremost. Trail mix is just an inconvenient way to eat M and M's. It's Mr. <laughs> McSpicy, Mark Haywood. Amen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I, so I, I'm a scout leader. I got to tell this story real quick. I'm a scout leader, and I had to tell. They're little kid scouts, okay? Mm -hmm. The these little kids, I had Cub to, Scouts. Cubs. Yeah, they're Cub Scouts. Thank you. Yeah. That's the correct yeah. term. Thank you. I know the, my the I know term. my scouting. Uh, we went on a hike like last week, and I had to tell them if it doesn't have an M on it, it's deer poop. <laughs> <laughs> 
Speaking of M&Ms. <laughs> They're picking it up. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty, pretty funny. cool. Yeah. That's funny. Second, pretty cool. he's not a control freak. He's an out-of-control freak. It's Jordan the Man. Jordan Paskett. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. His Hello. classic intro there. And last but not least, if you can't say something nice about someone, you probably work at the same place I do. <laughs> I am X1. <laughs> we are the X1 bros. Let's get this show on the road. Jordan, what is going on in the world that is Xbox One this week? Well, first things the, the first headline in story. the news. Headline story is on Tuesday, X1 has a birthday. And, oh, that's good. and as a birthday. Hey, that's me, guys. <laughs> as a guys, birthday. Look how awesome this yeah. present oh, we, is. We, I got a sticky <laughs> note. You got a sticky note. Yes. I pulled it out of that desk right there oh, nice. and wrote a little note on oh, there. I, want, I, thought writing, I thought you were writing Mark notes. and Jordan. Oh, it's a bunch of numbers. <laughs> <laughs> read, read what it says Thank below. Thank you. Your neat forty dollars <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> All right, thanks. That's your, thanks, guys. That's, uh, that's some right here. Microsoft dollars. So yes. your gaming from uh, us to you. Thank it's you. It's from both of us. We love you, man. Oh, thank you. And thank you. I'm glad you had a birthday because it's it's real neat. It yeah. is neat. <laughs> it's, you're super neat, man. It's real neat. <laughs> yeah. I, I, totally, I totally forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw me off. So get something. Get yourself something nice. <laughs> I will. I will. Oh, let's like Grand Theft Auto. The, <laughs> That's only seven dollars. I said something nice, not expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of the funniest lines in that show. It's good. Uh, oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah. The chat is saying, "Go ahead and read the numbers. What's the worst that can happen?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. Uh, all right, now on to the lesser news of the week. <laughs> we have Sling TV uh, announced this week and is actually available now on the Xbox One. Sling TV is uh, basically a TV program. What you do is you pay $20 a month. Starts at 20 Starts at $20 a month, and you get a basic package. There's the three ESPN channels, Disney, TNT, TBS. Uh, I think I saw Food Network. I might, TV, I, have, I might get it just for March Madness. Yeah. A bunch of games are on TBS. So there's uh, that's your basic package for $20, uh, $20 a month. Um, also, you can add to that. There's called $5 upgrade packages. There's a mm. kid's $5 upgrade that has more Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, all that stuff. There's a, a news a news one, ABC, MSNBC, all that stuff, and a uh, sports package, which has more ESPNs, and they have the SEC network. They oh, don't yeah. have the Pac-12 network, Pac so uh, heck, probably won't get it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What but anyway, uh, so that's that. Also, Xbox One Live Gold members get a free 30 days, which is perfect because it's just in time for the March Madness tournament. Also, I'll leave. I was gonna leave this for deals, but since you're on it, if you buy, speaking of Sling TV, if you buy an Xbox One bundle from Microsoft Store or online at the Microsoft Store, you get three months free of Sling TV. Nice. So they're really Microsoft is really using it Pushing as a selling it. point as well. And okay, I cool. think this is awesome. There was an article in Forbes. This is completely off track, and I'm going to move this off track, but for a reason. There was an article in For or no, in the Wall Street Journal this week about how Apple is changing the way that television is done because they are bringing live television to their streaming service, right? They're like, Amazon can't compete because nothing like that is on the stick. This guy was completely an Apple fanboy. But working for the Wall Street Journal, do your research. Sling TV has been on the Amazon Kindle stick or Amazon Fire stick. I have it for like a month and a half now. It's yeah. the first one. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, yeah, and Microsoft is trying to do something with that. And it was just like kind of this mention. It was like, no, Microsoft, it's already there. Come yeah. on, guys. It's mainstream it's going to change the way TV is, and no yeah. one even realizes it. Um, yeah. It's a really good – even that $20 package is already is a good deal by by itself, all the channels you get. But uh, you can get – Xbox Live Gold members can get a free 30-day trial. Um, so if you want to watch all the basketball Has games anyone for free, I meant to try know. that because I got a message from someone saying that you had to pay first, and then it gave you – Well, you have to day. sign up. I'm assuming it's like Netflix where, where you, you put, put your, your credit, card, your credit card in. And you can cancel it anytime. Then you can cancel, yeah. I used to do that for a while with Netflix, and they finally <laughs> caught me. But uh, <laughs> well, 11 was, months. That was, 11 that was, months free Netflix. Fun, but I, you told me that story. Yeah. That's pretty funny. How many email addresses did you use? Like 11. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and then the lady came Jordan, back. Here's the cheapest like guy. Last, I was like last it. week when he signed up five yeah. times He's for our, our own prize. For that win our own prize. No, yeah, I was talking to that lady, and I was mad at her at first because they charged me. And then she's like, oh, let me put you on hold. And then she came back and was like, well, we're, this card is attached to 11 different accounts. <laughs> And at that point, I was just like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, I'll pay. So, yeah. No big deal. See you later. Up. <laughs> they got you. But. but anyway, it's their fault for not you know, putting something in to repel that. 
yeah, see, Dark says, plus if you sign up for a minimum of three months of Sling, you get an Amazon Fire Stick for free or $50 off Amazon Fire Stick. Way cool. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, everybody go. Um, Major Nelson has a little video on the Xbox in the advertisement section where Sling TV is. It basically explains how to do it. You just download the app, sign in, create your free account. You have 30 days free, and you can cancel before so it doesn't charge you. Um, but yeah, Sling TV, pretty cool. I'm excited to use it mm. for the three for the 30 days, see how it works. All right, Neverwinter, uh, Perfect World Entertainment. They make Neverwinter, which yeah. we know is coming to the Xbox One. They had layoffs this week, which is kind of sad. Oh. Mm. So yeah, uh, Perfect World Entertainment has laid off a percentage of its staff. Isn't that kind of the cycle, though, of developers? They they come out with yeah, the big well, game. Yeah, well, certain, certain the game jobs. Winds down. Certain job, like I know uh, Blizzard does this. Certain jobs they they hire you for a set amount of months. Yeah, contracts. And then they, you know, what I mean, yeah, contract. Yeah, but is contracting considered layoffs though? I don't no, know. No, I think this is I an actual know. layoff. Uh, massively overpowered. Uh, they came out with a report that they said 18 people were recently let go from Perfect oh. World uh, Entertainment. So, but anyway, sad for them. Hopefully everything's doing well because I think yeah. Neverwinter is a fun game, and hopefully it uh, does good on the Xbox One when it comes out. Yeah. So, I also think it's fun. Also, uh, got a little. Oh, uh, that's yeah. neat. Yeah, got a little, uh, <laughs> a little more. Konami this week. You guys know about Konami. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, um, Haido Kojima talked about him leaving. There was all this mess, but we finally got that cleared up. So he is leaving from the new reports. He is leaving after Metal Gear Solid Five is done, and we kind of okay. already knew that because he mentioned earlier before that in his eyes the Metal Gear Solid franchise ends with this one. So he is leaving, but he is 100% involved. He said he's 100% involved uh, in Metal Gear Solid up until we, we get it all going. You know, So he's still there, and he's still working hard. And then Konami came out and confirmed that the Metal Gear Solid franchise will go on after he leaves. Oh, okay. So um, He's just done. With he's it. just That's done, yeah. But uh, he's been there since well, that the early the 90s. News. Yes. That threw news through a loop. That put news through a loop last, uh, two, or what, last week or two weeks ago. Uh, this, week, this last week-ish. Ish. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, Destiny's coming out with a new update, uh, update 1.1.2. This adds new audio features uh, that you can uh, adjust uh, chat volume, uh, game volume, all that little stuff, oh, okay, you know, which cool. is nice because you weren't able to do that before. It was all one thing. And they're also adding a colorblind mode. So people mm. that are colorblind can see the loot and the shields and stuff a little bit easier hmm. on the players, which is pretty cool. So, uh, also... At SXSW this week, this is more for David. Um, <laughs> I, yeah. You know my opinion on this. <laughs> yeah. We just so, ignore Mark completely. <laughs> I'm <laughs> out of this one. I'll be back. <laughs> so um, Telltale was there, and they had, they had a panel, and they talked about Season 3 of The Walking Dead. So they said, and I'm quoting, Season 3 of The Walking Dead will not be coming super, super, super soon, but... I think you could perhaps maybe expect to see Walking Dead again sooner. Oh. So basically, and then it goes up, they go on to talk about maybe not season three, but maybe season three not soon, but maybe something else Walking Dead oh, okay. soon. So, cool. um, which I saw I'm, I'm, season two. So I, I'm just finishing up uh, season one. That's my that's my when I want to sit down and relax kind of game. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, maybe yeah, uh, it's another a Telltale kind of game. Oh, it is. Maybe another Telltale Walking Dead soon. I've got Game of but Thrones, but season three, not soon. <laughs> it's kind of a confusing thing yeah. there. I've heard mixed reviews about the Telltale Game of Thrones. Um, I've heard it's pretty good, actually, for the most part. The, you know. the uh, everyone hates episode two. The or one just the released. episodes. Not they don't hate them, but episode two is always a setup game, and so each review comes out per episode. And okay. So episode two, I don't think got the, yeah. the greatest review from my, okay. from my okay. understanding. Rockman 4 officially announced that it's going to be in uh, 1080p, yeah. 60 frames per second. I saw that this week, and I thought, yes! <laughs> <laughs> that, means, that, that means more fun, right? Yeah. yeah. It'll be, the music on Rockman 4 will be even better now that, that it's in 1080p. Now that it's in 60 frames yeah, per they second. They said they, they went in and said that their new engine is going to take full um, advantage. advantage of the new hardware, yeah. which I... I mean, I know it's a complicated game, but graphically, it's not. You know, <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I mean, right, well, maybe. I mean, if there's some lasers more, and light shows, yeah, and make stuff. it look more realistic and stuff. That's All right, cool. hey, Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, we get a first debut yes, of it next April month. 19th, I think. It is. Uh, yeah, it's going to be at the Star Wars Celebration, which yep. is between April 16th and 19th, and it's going to be sometime during then. Yep. So, uh, yeah, the first uh, 
people are hoping gameplay. Cut. I mean, a lot of good stuff oh, coming. Man, so that, that will game. be awesome. And Mark, you even said before the show, you hope this game does good. Uh, I really do. Because this game series is excellent. Yeah, I have that fear, and it's a fear of like everything. Like, well, can you imagine this game on the Frostbite three engine? Oh. I know. It's just anything I like, like whether it's Star Wars, anything Star Wars, any movie, like comic book character I like, or even waffles in the in the morning. <laughs> I want something that I like. To turn out good, mm-hmm. you know, and so it's all. I'm I'm scared. I'm a little. I'm a little scared that this may not turn out as cool as it is. But if it does, I, you know, I'm just. You know what I'm talking about. This, I know what you're talking I'm about. I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan of this series. I think I might I want have to those uh, blinders on. Oh, the goggles. The yeah, goggles. Because I think I'll love this game no matter what. Just because the previous two games were so awesome. I know they're so good, and so it's just like. And, you know, it's it's my waffles. I want them it's, to be yeah. perfect. It's, I don't want them to I mean, be burned. Look at the screen. <laughs> I, I, I want some good raspberry jam on that, you know. Be just a lot of butter. Perfectly toasted on top and gooey in the middle. Yeah. So that's my the crew. That's my jam. The crew. Okay. Released a vintage car pack. Kicking uh, the, it old school. Yep. Uh, the Corvette C2 and C3 along with the, the Spiker C8 car. I don't know how to pronounce the rest of that car. I'm not a car enthusiast, so. You know, I can't pronounce it, and I'm not even going to try. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the, this pack was available to season pass holders, um, but now it's available to everyone. You can go... Uh, hey, what uh, car? The Austin Martin? No, the, the these cars up here. The Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a part of the pack. All oh, stuff, oh, you so. just want to read them all. I just want to read them all. There's a lot of them. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of really cool ones, like an Austin Martin. They have... <laughs> and a Cavort, they have hard names. I can't pronounce them, okay? And I'm, blah, blah, blah. I'm not a good reader. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, this is awesome. Overlord 3 was teased out this week. Well, they oh. teased it. Remember Overlord? <laughs> it was, it was out. teased out this week. Well, oh, no. technically that's the, they wait, just teased that's it. the game with the, little, the, the minions, little minions. Yeah, yeah I played that, that game on the Xbox 360. Game. That was a that fun game. Overlord fun 1 game. and 2 were good. And um, Codemasters uh, tweeted a picture and kind of tweeted, you know, just teasing it, you know. Teasing it up. Yeah. Get our palettes. So anyway, it, it looks cool. I was just really excited for that. Yeah, me too. That's yeah. a good game. Loki and Falcon are set to oh. – uh, Invade Disney Infinity 2.0 on March oh, 24th. Cool. Oh, yeah. So those of you guys that have Disney Infinity, get two new characters on March 24th. I, I still want to try that game. So do I. I'm not going to lie. I spent a lot of money on Skylanders, and I only play it <laughs> once. <laughs> but Skylanders, though, I hear it, as a game, uh, has more depth. Yeah. Well, I just like the character models of Skylanders better than Inf- 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 I don't know. I'll, I just – I yeah, I don't know. No, but – uh, that's a good news story. Yeah. I mean, Loki's cool, man. Yeah, well, you know, he is cool. a likable bad guy. I want to try out Disney Infinity, but – yeah. You already, well, it's, you invested just, in Skylanders, yeah. so... It's just expensive. Yeah. So, okay, so, uh, Gears of One War... Ge- Gears, Gears of War... Ge- okay. Gears of War, <sighs> the remastered collection, is not gonna come well, to no, the no, new no. Xbox. No, no, no. The Marcus Phoenix collection is not gonna come. As it was pointed out to me earlier this week... That's probably just semantics, right? Oh, I think yeah, Marcus Phoenix collection isn't coming. A Gears of War collection still might be coming. That's well, not off the table. Okay, I yeah, you can see that. So he just well, said, um, Rod Ferguson tweeted out this week uh, from Gears. He says, "I love the passion, but there's no Marcus Phoenix collection. Collection. We are working on other exciting Gears projects. I'll I, see I you don't at e- see them. I'll see you at E3. Yeah, honestly, I don't see them not." Doing this double negative, but I understand what you're saying. Yes, <laughs> I don't see them well, not I, doing this. They, they, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's a cash cow. Yeah, it will yeah. make money. It's, it's Halo Master Chief Collection. They've paved the way for it. Why not do something like this to ramp up a new Gears of War yeah. on the uh, next gen Gears of War to lead into it? So the rumor is, it's not. I mean, there's no. But do you see what I mean? I think yeah. it's, I think it's for E3 so that. It's not. It doesn't kill the hype of. It's E3. not called Marcus Phoenix Collection. It's called. Yeah, Sino. he's yeah. going to be on stage. Oh, maybe. Well, there's that, no that Marcus was, Phoenix Collection. That However, was, there is all oh, three or four games. Here you go. Woo! I don't know. Gotcha. They are. It's a, it did say they are are working on other exciting Gears projects, and they'll see us at E3. So hopefully, we'll get something to see. Yeah, I think we are here at E3. I, I really think we stuff. are. Life is strange. Episode two. Ooh. Comes out March 24th. More emo teenage so on mystery. on Tuesday. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You read the journal entries. They're great. <laughs> okay. I really hate this girl. She's such a bully. It's like, oh, sad. Also, Predator <laughs> joins the roster in Mortal Kombat oh. X. Hey, oh, by okay. the way, I am. I think I'm going to play Life is Strange. You just skipped right over that story. 
No, I just, no, well, we episode, it's episode, episode yeah. two coming episode, out. Okay, episode just, two's coming out I'm, on Tuesday. I'm probably going to play one of these. Okay. Well, I mean, I've already pl- I'm playing the first one, but I mean. Yeah. This is big for me because I don't play movie games. Yeah. And that's yeah. a total movie game. Yeah. I think because at heart you're an emo girl. <laughs> Deep down. You're still coming of age. I'm, fair enough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, they said that the they say that the premium edition offers uh, if you buy the premium edition you'll have access to uh, Predator in Mortal Kombat oh. 10 X I think X sounds better than 10 yeah it does all right uh, like State of Decay box yeah, yeah there it is, there so it is. instead of 10 bucks State instead of Decay of box. came out with a new trailer uh, th- this last week and uh, of course it's a uh, going to be available April 28th for that, all Xbox that, One it, That's users. a purchase for me. It's an automatic purchase. Oh, I will cool. be buying oh, that. Oh, you just got you something. Oh, yeah, there you go. I can use it. That's an, that's an auto purchase for me, though. Yeah. No doubt. It's a good It's a good game. This game looks fun. Oh, this does yeah. look fun, actually. Um, Xbox One I tweeted about is this getting this Strike Vector EX. It's yeah. a dog fighting, aerial dog fighting game, and it looks cool. It's available on the PC. <laughs> It's a PC only, multiplayer only, but now it's come to the Xbox One and it runs on the Unreal Four engine. And better, more than that, it's not just uh, like a plane. It's a mech. Yeah, you're like, a mech fighter because like it like psh, opens up and psh, you have all these guns. It's very coming Michael out. Bay. Oh yeah, it's cool. But no, it looks really good. If you watch the trailer, uh-huh. it yeah, looks super fun. It looks excellent. So I don't know the price point. I'm assuming it's going to be the same as it is on the PC, um, but looks fun. So and it's a multiplayer only, so it fit in perfect with the Xbox. Xbox has a lot of good multiplayer stuff. So, uh, also, Odd Odd Worlds New and Tasty is coming to the Xbox One. Odd World was one of my favorite games on the PlayStation One. So, Odd World New and Tasty is a remake of Odd World's Abe's Odyssey, and it'll release on the Xbox One on March twenty seventh. Cool. I love Odd World. Did you ever play Odd World? I played like two hours of it because I borrowed it from a friend or something. Oh yeah, I'd say I didn't have a PlayStation One until my little brother Jordan bought one, Uh and then I was all over Odd World. Yeah. It's, so, it yeah. was a fun game. Coming to the Xbox One, and it's it's part of the ID at Xbox, uh, which is I think is a good program. All right, Halo Five Guardians will have dedicated servers for every multiplayer match, and better yet, those dedicated servers extend to custom matches. Hmm. Oh, really? So if we do a custom one v free for all match, we'll be on a dedicated server. Awesome! Oh, wow. Every single multiplayer match will have a dedicated server. I would be curious, including custom matches. I would I would be curious if they. If this was always planned, or if it's something that came about as a result of of Master Chief Master collection. Chief collection. Well, Master oh. Chief should be on dedicated servers too. Is it now? Oh, it is. It's, it's, it's just that it's, it's just, just connecting everyone. It was just oh, okay. a yeah. It was just oh, okay, a, okay, there's okay. something. Yeah, so, that's, that's um, my explanation of that they, completely they, um, impossible technical problem. <laughs> it's just oh, the only problem is you just can't connect. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> they just got to fix that. Just you know, that's cool that though. There. That's I don't yeah. know why more games don't go dedicated server. Honestly. Because I mean, it's cause cost. It's cost. Money. But Microsoft yeah. has. Uh, they did. This is what Are they, Xbox is so good. They have those cloud what is servers. Two hundred fifty thousand servers ready for developers to use. And, uh, and is this um, part of it. What they did, well, yeah, of course Titan, they're going to use Titanfall it. Was the first uh, Titanfall really was the first. Titanfall was the first to use it, it, and the reason Titanfall used it is because Microsoft is doing something that no one else has done, and they're offering these servers at a very good price to these developers, so they can afford to use them, so people can get and respawn. If you remember, it was in, like, what, episode three or four we talked about this. Uh, one of the Respawn uh, server technicians or, or whatever came out and talked about how um, they Microsoft did a good job with their servers, allowing us to use them, the, the cloud yeah. computing, at, all at an amazing price point for yeah. for these easy, you know, these, these low-end studios. But, uh, yeah, so they were asked about uh, peer-to-peer, which is, uh, you know, the basic way of doing it, console yeah. to console, right? Yeah. Um, they were asked about peer to peers, and they said, "quote We only have dedicated servers in multiplayer mat for multiplayer in Halo Five Guardians. That's true for matchmaking and customs. Cool. There is no P two P, which is peer to peer. Boom. Mm-hmm. So and which that beta is was awesome. already excellent. Yeah. Can you imagine the final uh, product? Yeah, I've said this before. <laughs> this that game is, and this is just me. I think that's the best first-person shooter mm-hmm. multiplayer com- yeah. c- comp- competition game kind of thing that I've ever played. Very good. It is it, so it, it good. Was it was fun. fun. A lot of fun. And it's a, it was a beta. Yeah. <sighs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good game. Yep. And all dedicated servers all mm. the way. So. Okay, mm. anyway, you guys are going to have to plug your ears for this next news story, and anybody who hasn't played Halo 4 is going to have to plug their oh. ears for okay. this next okay. I literally I, will plug my ears. So, I am too, because this yeah, is I don't yeah, want to hear. Anybody so, who just has, wave at okay, my face. Okay. So, Any, spoiler alert. Yeah, anybody who has not played and beaten Halo 4 needs Wait, to not listen to the next 30 yeah, seconds sure. of this show. Okay. So, uh, 
uh, the voice actor of Cortana came out and said Cortana will appear in Halo 5 Guardians, which is pretty cool because of what happened to her in Halo 4. Uh, for those of you who played it, no. Um, yeah, so she will play a role in the Halo 5 Guardians. Halo 5 Guardians. So. We're good? But yeah. Anyway, I thought that was a cool story. For those of you that played Halo 4, we're back. Probably be cool for you guys too. But that will happen. Hopefully they didn't hear me humming in the background. It will be. I, I think they did. Well. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. That's okay. But it's yeah. ambiance. It's <laughs> so. a story. I just say that kind of fast, so hopefully everybody understood what I was saying. <laughs> but also, Halo news. Halo came up with a website called the Hunt HuntTheTruth.com. Oh, that looks cool. And uh, there's a picture of a bullet, and it says traitor on it, and it has a countdown. The current countdown is one day, 23 hours, 34 minutes, and 50 seconds. And that's it. That's uh, all that's we it. know. Uh, and that adds up to be Sunday, which is March 22nd. So Mystery. on March 22nd, there's going to be some type of announcement here. Um, I think it's personally just going to be a trailer for the campaign. Mm. A trailer for the just campaign? A, a reveal. A reveal trailer. Hmm. So, just um, one trailer? Yeah, and then they'll show off something at E3. I, I bet you it'll be some content. I bet you it won't just be one thing. I oh, bet you you'll see a trailer. I thought you were going to be like, I bet there's three trailers. No, no, no. I bet you it'll be a trailer, um, and then maybe it's like some Concept game, art. gameplay, stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a, synopsis maybe, maybe of maybe the story. Maybe it's a whole new website too. of a bunch of screenshots and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I personally think it's just going to be a trailer showing off the campaign. Regardless. We've seen, we've seen a bunch of mul multiplayer up to this point, but we haven't seen the campaign. <laughs> what if it's just like a specific release date? Oh, that'd be cool, too. That's At least we awesome. know. No, that'd be a big disappointment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't care how good Halo is. Anyway, that would be a disappointment. One day, 23 hours, 33 minutes, and 54 seconds. It's so right now. That that's, yeah, that's exactly not... right now at this point. So, What oh, if it was the game? Be. Look at that. That it was re being released? That, that, would would be, be... that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> it would never happen. It would be like the worst marketing plan ever. Or would it be? No, that would be huge. Can you imagine? Like, yeah. Hey, Halo 5 is out. Everyone, don't go down. Mortal funny. Kombat X, the time has come. Oh, it is Organic now... Avenger, sorry. That's open good... up the beta again. That's oh, an option. That's that would be cool. Open yeah. up the beta. Cool. That'd be way Then you cool. wouldn't have to wait a whole year. I, I mean, we'd still have to wait a whole year. Oh, because I open went... up the beta uh, with new... Uh, new maps, new, new modes. Play new playable things. Yeah. I'm cool with that. I would totally not play that emo uh, teenage girl game. I would play that Coming instead. of age? Yeah. The game Coming of your age. life? Yeah. <laughs> the game of my life. It's kind of like a documentary of, what, of how I live my life day to day. My thoughts. <laughs> Summed okay. up in a game. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I would play that. I would play Halo 5 in, in place of that. So. All right, guys. The time has come. Mortal Kombat X is now available. Boom. For digital pre-order and pre-download on the Xbox One. Boom. Everybody should do this. What's the release date for that? April 14th. 14th. 12.01 Eastern Time. And the tournament is the end of <coughs> April. Yeah. Uh, if you guys want to know, by the way, uh, if anyone out there is interested in tournaments, the upcoming tournaments, just go to our calendar, x1bros.com forward slash calendar. They're all on there. So, so Or you can go to x1bros.com and then click on calendar. Amen. That's, you did that to me last week. Yeah. I just re returned yeah. the favor there. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Anytime, my friend. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're here for. Yeah. We're here for each other. Jordan, hurry up. We're, gonna, yeah. we're, <laughs> yeah. we're killing the show. So, <laughs> literally. Super excited for that game. Fruit Ninja 2 eh. is out. I know a lot of people like this game. It's not me. Yeah, my my wife really likes to play this on her phone, so I think we might get this one. Yeah, it's a mobile game. Well, I, well whatever. The I'm Connect, not. though, you could... Yeah, I was watching some guy stream. Karate Kid it up. So it's pretty funny. Oh, maybe we should stream that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that is now available for Xbox One. Uh, Cabela's African Adventure is now available I for like, Xbox One. I like Cabela <laughs> games. I don't know why. I always yeah. have. No, it's fun to hunt things. Yeah, it's like the stock. Stock no. debris. Yeah. Uh, Tales of the Borderlands Episode 2... Atlas Mugged is now available for the Xbox. Um, this is probably one of the bigger ones for this week. Uh, but yeah, it is out. Uh, Blade Storm Nightmare, also now oh, available for so, Xbox and One. And there's a demo for this. Mm -hmm. This looks interesting. It looks like Dynasty Warriors, but almost like a real-time strategy, Total Rome type of game. And so I got the demo for it, but I haven't yet played it. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. Have, Have you, played you played it? it? Did you play it? No. Oh, I was just saying that's okay that you haven't played it. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I just <laughs> sounded like you played it and it's all right. <laughs> no, 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 I haven't played it at all. So, uh, yeah. but anyway, that is now available for the Xbox One. It's no Life is Strange. Resident but... Evil, <laughs> Resident Evil Revelations Two is now complete. Episode Four Metamorphosis came out this week, so now we have the full series, and I'm excited to finish up the story. So. Yeah, that is now out. Also, Ziggurat is now oh. available. On Xbox is going to be all over this. This so game, this is like a merge for me and you. Yeah, this really? game. Oh. I actually, I was sitting. Um, 
I yeah. was I was sitting there and I I, I pulled up my phone oh, and I was it, watching ID at Xbox <laughs> stream this. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll watch ID at Xbox. So I'm watching stream it and I got hooked. So I bought oh, it right away. So good. Yeah. It's a rogue, first person rogue. Ooh. With, I'm already uh, with in. wizards. Well, but with the level, what do they call that? The you like level up with randomly cards. Generate. Oh yeah, the random generated oh, heck, levels. Yeah. yeah, this is my jam. Yeah. I'm so, down. Dude, looks it, so uh, good. It's on. It was. It's been on Steam. It's been on Steam for a while, but they did port it over to the Xbox One, and it looks a lot of fun. I'm excited to play this one. Yeah. So, Final Fantasy Type Zero HD came out this week, along with Final Fantasy 15 Episode Duce. Oh. Duce. <laughs> Actually, I heard someone pronounce that the other day as. Douche? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I think we're completely mispronouncing it. I heard someone say it, and it was completely different than Duase. how say it. No, it was – let me see. Where, where is it at? Give me, give me the name of it. Where is okay, it at? Let me pull up the name real quick. Oh, okay. Anyways, I, I heard someone say it. I don't think it's as do say as you say. <laughs> <laughs> it's as do say as you say. That's funny. I think it's like Dukai or something like that. Episode Dukai du- sounds cooler. I think the S is silent. Dukai. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, Final Fantasy. Why do they got to make it so? It says Final Fantasy 15 demo. Why do they got to make it so hard? <laughs> <laughs> it takes place in the region of Dusay. Dusay. Dukai. Anyway, uh, Final Fantasy 15 Type 0 HD is now available. This is exciting for us because this was a PSP title, and I'm pretty sure it only released in Japan when it originally came out. So now it's over in America on the Xbox One remastered, and it comes with the Final Fantasy 15 demo, which is really fun. Also, Battlefield Hardline is your other heavy hitter mm. for this week. It released on Tuesday. Uh, oh, and there's no reviews out yet for that. A lot of the critics, they hold their reviews now because of the Battlefield 4 experience. They they don't judge it until they get real-time online gameplay. Okay, yeah. So that one, I've not seen reviews. I've not heard anything from anyone on it, actually. Huh, interesting. Mm. Anyway, right. it I was going uh, to jump out. in because I get my EA access. So. Yeah. yeah, but it is now out. Uh, yeah, those of you that he, he have EA access, it is 10% off for you guys, um, as usual, with everything on EA mm-hmm. access. Everybody else, you don't get anything. So so I'm looking up this Ziggurat game. Yeah. It reminds me of Hexen. Remember Hexen from the – was it yes. the Nintendo 64? Yes, I do. And I love that game. I played the I played I the crap out of that. that you're like a wizard. And then you get different like, – Yeah, there's staff. different spells. Oh, you and level up it's with randomly cards. generated. Each time you get the, the – the level you also get a randomly generated I'm extra down. weapon slash power. I'm playing this game. I'm playing this game tonight. Uh, oh yeah, uh, guys, it's only fifteen Less bucks. Go, go for it. it. Yeah, fifteen dollars. Oh, okay. yeah. It's yeah. I don't it's think it's not multiplayer. Or anything, it's yeah. only single player. And with your uh, forty dollars, you could buy me a copy. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Happy birthday! Buy me one. <laughs> <laughs> and that is actually it for the news this week. Oh, cool. Awesome. Biggest news story probably Halo mystery website. Yeah. <gasps> what could it be? And the thing that you guys didn't hear. Well, that I can't say. Oh yeah, the Halo, Halo 4. The Halo, sorry. We, we I thought that was pretty the Halo cool. 4 story. We've said this multiple times. We're at the end of 3. Yeah. It took us 2 days to get through <laughs> all 3 and well, we haven't finished 4 yet. It's so funny because we're like, you know what? Let's beat it leg- legendary. Yeah. When we started, we quickly gave up on that. And we're like, okay, let's try hard. <laughs> and then we're like, <laughs> oh normal. my gosh, we've normal. been playing for 9 hours straight. We it's just, normal. We got to do we're normal. Not normal. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a good time though. Saving the day. And your wallet. Uh, the biggest deal this week, uh, there's not a whole lot out there, sad to say. The biggest deal uh, is the bundles, I think, from the Microsoft Store, where you get, the, you get like Assassin's Creed Unity, a controller, and three months of Sling TV, which is a great deal if you're a cable cutter. Um, yeah. that, I think that's, a, that's an excellent deal. On, as far as games with gold on Xbox One Marketplace, Grand Theft Auto V... Uh, is out for fifty nine forty nine, but it comes with a uh, free Bull Shark cash card, which I believe is like five hundred thousand dollars or something insane like that. Yeah, which is enough for an apartment. Yeah, it's your apartment. Cost let's just put it this way: it, the last time this came out, I should have got this version, and I thought about it, and then it went away, and I never got mm-hmm. it. Um, because you could just jump ahead on Xbox on the online, on, online play, Rockstar, and get the uh, high end apartment, which yeah, I have, like, like immediately. Uh, so. There's a bottle of whiskey just sitting there. Yeah. All ready for you. So that's a great deal. Check those out. Uh, he completely blows me <laughs> off. He's like, that joke's not funny. Let's keep moving. <laughs> just, just uh, while Mark's talking. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's just keep like the, moving. The, 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 the uh, Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Keep going. That's enough, the both oh. of you. Oh, Ouch. man. This is the portion of the show. The segment 
where we talk about what we've been playing, what we've been up to. Our experiences gaming on the Xbox One this week. I'll start if that's okay. Oh, yeah. I had a super busy week. It's the busiest time of the year at work for me. I actually have to work six of the seven days this week. Ah. Uh, uh, so tomorrow. It kind of sounds like my life. You know, oh. I choose that. Like, But yeah, at least you can, you're at home. You yeah, know, I know. Yeah. Uh, Looking for yourself. It's a joy. I don't have to wear pants. Yeah, it's, it's great. My, it's my dream job right there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyways, but I did get a chance. I did uh, my ITARB game uh, with T.O. I just yeah. called him T.O. I forget the rest of his name. But he's from t- he's from Toronto. Cool guy. Played his daughter afterwards. Lost to both of them. Nice. Yeah. But I love that game. ITARB is so fun. I was going through single player and just practicing, not really playing anyone. When you play someone, and not when, just when you play someone, when you play someone you know, so fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we got to get a big six on six going. I think that, that would be, be awesome. I, I watched the demos cool. of that. You know, it looks so Pass fun. Pass the ball! <laughs> and I bet you'd be really frustrating at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Fun and frustrating. Yeah. The two Fs I love. <laughs> All righty <laughs> then. Wow. <laughs> I also got to play Final Fantasy XV, the demo. And ready for this? That is a must buy. Just from the demo. <coughs> it is excellent. I am not a huge Final Fantasy guy. Um, and I heard the question asked, uh, or I had the question asked, would this be a game that brings in Final Fantasy people? I think it would be. I, I think it will be. It is beautiful, mm-hmm. number one. Mm-hmm. The So it's not term. I love turn-based strategy, turn-based RPG. That's what traditionally Final Fantasy is. Mm-hmm. This is well, not. Final Fantasy thirteen wasn't. Based. But by well, large, that's what it's like. Oh, that's what like it's the majority, for, right? like Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII. This is yeah, their like biggest straight game ever. Up, yeah. Um. Anyways, Final Fantasy XV. You in the demo, you start out right away, and it, it does a tutorial of how to fight. Um. While going through the story, it does a tutorial very well. I thought mm-hmm. actually. Um. And it teaches you how to fight, and the moves are so cool. You have this move where you you can throw it. You throw your sword. And then you disappear and teleport to and it. teleport to your sword that's stabbing the guy already. And you can use it to stab a guy, or you can use it to oh, there's a there's a rock right there or a building. Let me teleport up there like a like Zelda's grappling hook. Yeah, exactly. Kind of yeah. And then the dodge mechanic uh, for defense and and all this stuff uses your um, your mana, so to speak. Right? Mm-hmm. It kind of has a mana bar. I don't know yeah. what it's called, but MP magic points. Magic points. Yeah. Um. And and when someone slices at you, you dodge out of the way. But you disappear for a split second when you dodge and come back and you just – and it looks – you know what it, it looks does like? It does like a blue animation. Yeah, it, lo- it is really cool. gorgeous. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just blown away. It reminds me of Infamous Second Son, those battle okay. montages. Yeah. It does it as good if not better than the way those look. It, it looks so good. I was just thoroughly impressed with it. Did, um, you, did you get to the point where you – he got Gandalf the Grey or whoever <laughs> appear out of nowhere out of the heavens and pick you up and then slam down hellfire everywhere yeah, no. and blow the crap no. out of the entire planet. No, because no. when I saw that, I was like, "Whoa, what the cool!" It was yeah. it's cool though. Um, uh, what I like about it is it's Dragon Age like in the respect of there's a million quests on your map. You can go do whatever one you want, uh-huh. and then you can explore the world. It's open world, and there's so there's this aspect of exploring. Uh, you can fight any random animal that's there. Uh, drop ships will come in with enemies randomly as you're as you're exploring. So yeah, you'll I have to fight of off. I would just run because after a while they because they came in a lot. Oh, I came yeah. But after a while, so, I just ran away. it what, those so, robot dudes or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and when they come down and like the the there's wind a guy holding their comes flag. from the oh, it looks so good. It's a great looking game. It's fun to play. What does I really the flag guy do? I was watching. He, some he literally screens. just holds it until he's the last guy, and you go and fight him, and then he starts fighting you. What, so he's just like the the banner man? Yeah, he's oh, there cool. for a certified. Right. Well, he's watching his buddy's die. He's like, man, I got this flag. <laughs> yeah, this is mine. I wasn't, they didn't, I wasn't recruited. Yeah, I, I actually didn't like those guys anyways. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, at this point, I'm very excited for that yep. game. Very excited. Uh, that's that's it that I got to play this week, but it, it was impressive. I was impressed. You maybe have already answered this. Does it give away any story or plot or anything? It does. Jordan says it does. At the end. At the end and of I this? Have, and I haven't got the end cause, because there is a lot of side. It, it's like Dragon Age in that respect. You can get sidetracked. Or even more like Skyrim. You can get sidetracked through exploring. Mm. Uh, but it is excellent. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. 
Jordan, you you played it as well. Did you yeah, I, I played I played that, that. Yeah, no, it was really good. It's about a three hour demo, start to finish, doing everything. And right? I did. I think I did about an hour and a half. Yeah, I think I two hours, you know, fifty minutes or so. Two hours, fifty minutes. Yeah. So I and you you beat it right? Yeah, I beat you it. Beat the demo. So at at the end, it's not it's not dubbed in English, but they do have English subtitles. At the end, it shows pictures and concept art, and then it briefly talks about something and you hear like oh, a news broadcast okay. and you kind of get an idea of what the story is going to be about. Okay. There, so cuz the also, uh, there's a really hot mechanic. The, the <laughs> a really hot mechanic? Yeah, Cindy, is that her name? R- rar. Like yeah, that hot? That's your friend. <laughs> yeah. So <Jeez>. but um <laughs> Sweet. Uh, okay, no, it was cool. really good. All right, maybe I'll check this game out. <laughs> the I mean, I don't know if <laughs> All right, sold. <laughs> I don't know if uh, I mean I didn't read any I don't know if there was like any like lore stuff you can read like there I mean there usually is you can yeah. read through lore I didn't do any of that I just did all the quests and stuff but it was really fun the combat like you said is cool I like the dodging mechanic because like yeah. you dodge and then your body like does this blue pixel it's, thing it's, and it's yeah, cool it, it's just and it's so fluid and another thing I like is when you're in trouble like when your when your magic goes down you can cover behind something to help it go back up. And when you, it's just a cool system. Like you're fighting, your magic goes down, you cover behind a rock to take cover, and the healing your characters is super fast. You go over and you touch them on, you know, your character. So you touch them. That's how you heal. Because I was watching, I was watching some streams. So if your friend, if your one of your party members goes below in the red, they'll crouch down and kind of try and. It's like a magic power that you have, kind of. And you'll run and touch them and say, "Hey, get up!" And they'll get up, right? And then of course, um, you have to go in and use your potions and stuff like that. Yeah. And one thing that I didn't mention is you have all of these super are are like superpowers, so to speak. These Uh special moves and and they did a good job it's off the d-pad and it's always displays down at the bottom of what it is and you can cycle through them and press y and it just makes the fighting like okay this guy i gotta use this boom boom and it's it doesn't change you don't have to think okay it, they, they made it really fluid it, the, the fighting system it's it's excellent and you can see as you're fighting your entire party's health up on one side so you know who to help who not yeah. to help, where to go it, it kind of brings it brings a, <laughs> a, a uh, yeah. Hey Cindy, what's yeah. up, man? It brings a turn-based strategy. It it brings a strategy that would be in turn-based two real-time fighting. Okay, uh, that's really cool. Yeah. I liked it a lot. I had a couple of frame rate issues, and the graphics looked a little blurry to me. I at will times. say, but it's a demo. I mean, I what will. Do you expect, s- right? I will say the only part that wasn't it was a little dark. Mm-hmm. The when you looked out far, that wasn't but from, as good. I'm, 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 I don't. So and when from, he runs, it's hilarious. From my experience, when you, sprint, you have to admit when you sprint. From, from it's my like ex- Japanese anime intense yeah. sprinting. From and then it's when hilarious. he's done sprinting, he's like, oh, man, I know he's all tired. Ty- because I, I, I was yeah, watching, I, I'm, I was trying to figure out the health system because I swear his whole party died like five times fighting Snuffleupagus. <laughs> you know, some big old like. Well, and those guys are easy. He must not. You must have been watching well, someone that didn't know what he was I, I guess so. Anyways, um, but when he would get hit, he would like. Crawl away yeah. or or waddle away and hide behind a rock forever, and then his, all his teammates are fighting. So I'm not, I mean, I'm not sure how the it, it, it kind of. Th- I'm sure it throws you like that level probably takes place an hour into the game. So I'm sure because I didn't really understand the weapons exactly, yeah. like switching their positions or stuff like that. Each weapon had its own Y ability, and that's what the left and right were. Yeah, yeah, that's what you were yeah. mentioning yeah. before, really which cool. is but really intuitive, health, right? Yeah. For yeah, super intuitive, super. Uh, what's for health though? You find cover and you press left bumper to hide behind it, and your not health... for health, magic. Your mana oh, goes for, back for up. mana. Yeah. That's right, and and you hide, and it automatically restores. You can slowly, you can charge your magic points up. Well, it'll restore. Yeah, so your magic always goes down, and then it's yeah. As comes you use back it, on. it'll go down as you use your abilities. So, and each of those Ys uses more magic. Well, yeah, okay, like abilities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but yeah, no. So I I'm okay. So from my experience, and this is probably maybe just my opinion, but uh, Japanese games. I always think that they're really, really good on the character models, but the environments always lack a little. So, and from the demo, it kind of—I mean, the environment was good, but I mean, I just—I worry about that. This being this new open world. You the know only I mean? thing I didn't like, and maybe it's whereas in, the, if you look at Western games, the environments are usually really good, and they kind of lack a little in their character model. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. kind of just the the difference of, of what culture, I did. The right? only thing I didn't like is because as soon as as I saw, oh, open world, yeah, let's go explore it. There was that lake with those huge monsters. And I tried to cross the lake, and it uh, invisible. Oh wall. yeah, it won't I don't know if swim. that's just the demo. It probably is, or if, uh, or yeah. probably not. Well, I don't, I don't know. I mean, because if you can't this swim, is completely, that would suck. This is completely different from anything they've ever done, right? Final Fantasy has never been. Well, Final Fantasy Thirteen was kind of open world halfway linear, through the game, though, I but not. That. Well, I mean, you didn't get to the open world part until halfway through the game, and it was not as open world as you think it. You know, but. 
So th- I think this is going to be open world, but I don't think it's going to be open world how we like Dragon Age, where you can go- get lost in hundreds of hours of Skyrim. Because sky- yeah. Final Fantasy is already like a 50-hour campaign. You know what I mean? It's a huge – I mean, they don't, they, don't, they don't mess around. Sell you short on the story there. Yeah. And they're always intriguing stories too. But, yeah. but anyway, I, so I don't know if it's going to be something like that. I'm sure there will be side quests, but I don't think we'll see something at the – you know what I mean? So anything else but. beside uh, the Final Fantasy 15? Oh yeah, I played Heist Mode. Yeah, do you want me to talk about so, that? Because that's pretty much all I played. Oh yeah, <laughs> and then Jordan. I played I played that game that we just talked about, Ziggurat, and that's pretty cool. But anyway, oh, so yeah. did you play Type Type Zero? No, I'm saving that for this weekend. Oh, so I play. Oh yeah, I did Let's Plays of Final Fantasy 15. They're up on YouTube. So are they? Yeah, the chat them. was asking about it. Are they? Uh, are they yeah. live right now? So or? they are. They will be live this week. Uh, yeah. Every even. Day. Oh, and I gotta tell you about <laughs> every even no, day. We we gotta talk about we gotta talk about Gandalf. Oh, Gandalf. Part. The Gandalf the Blue Grey. My have you seen it? No, I haven't seen okay, it yet. So you haven't seen the no, super move or whatever? I haven't seen it, no. Oh, yeah, my so, gosh. And it doesn't even tell you anything. I, wa- I was watching some streamer, and then all of a sudden, this guy comes yeah. out of nowhere and goes like, picks him up you and like pass. blows the crap. Out. I mean, so everything's like you get to this, yeah, you get to this Armageddon, this boss, nuclear. Yeah, you get okay. to this boss fight, if you will, right? And you're fighting. And I was fighting, I'm like, oh man, this is going to take forever, because my health was barely going down, so I was just, I was getting in my routine, and I was like, okay, it's just going to take forever, but just keep the routine up. And then all of a sudden I got hit, and I had to go back and like recover, and then it said, hold down A, and I was like, oh, okay. So I held down (laughs) A, and then all of a sudden, it goes, it like zooms out, and this guy grabs you, and I'm like, oh my, what? I didn't the... know he was on my team. He grabs you, and he's, he's it's Gandalf. It really yeah, it looks, is. It looks like he's Gandalf, huge. man. And he pulls you up, and then he's holding you in his hand, and you're like this little guy. And he like lifts up his staff and like slams it down, and then the boss just gets disintegrates. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? It's a nuclear explosion. <laughs> what is happening? But I did a quest previous to that. And I picked up, like, this ancient weapon. At first, I thought it was, like, maybe the ancient weapon power. I don't even know what it was. But it was it was, it was was confusing, but really cool, too. It was nice. Oh, man. Anyway, but yeah, and then I played uh, Heist Mode with Mr. Rick Spicy. Yeah. Which, by the way, I hadn't had that much fun playing video games in a long time. Heist Mode, when, I mean, we got it to work. It was awesome. We streamed it uh, last night. Um, so right away, did any any connection problems or yes. anything like that? Oh, yeah. It well, took us it 20 minutes. It wouldn't be Grand Theft Auto if there wasn't. It wouldn't be Grand Theft Auto, and it wouldn't be Twitch streaming on the Xbox if there wasn't connection problems. <laughs> okay. So it took us about 20 minutes to get things up and running. But uh, the trick was that, uh, that, that worked for us is don't try to go into a public match. Go into a private friend match. Um, and then do a high. And then, and then invite him into your game. Yeah. Uh, whoever has the high-end apartment, because you need to – A, you need to go talk to Lester first. And you need to have a high-end apartment. And you need to have a high-end apartment. Okay. So once you do that, um, invite him into your game and um, have them buzz into your apartment, and then you have a, a, a heist room in your high-end apartment. Um, and that's when you can start yeah. setting things up. So I know we're probably a little late to the game. Um, I'm especially. Uh, this was our first heist last night, and it, the first heist is just a two-player heist. Mm-hmm. Then there's, I think, did they say five he- heists in total? Players. Yeah, with we were talking to one of our friends. Five heists total. Five heists total. Yeah. So the rest of them are four or four-player heists, but uh, very, very cool. Uh, it it was a lot of fun. I was having a blast playing it. Huh. So um, yeah, we had to go like uh, take a bank and and. Oh, yeah, and Lester's... Yeah, for, t- t- tell him how you failed us the first time. I'd, I'd really no, want to, yeah. No, it's, it's not my fault. It. Lester told me to fault. shoot him. No, she, he <laughs> shot a hostage no, in the face. No, no, oh, I shot it kneecap. in the kneecap. It's completely and it was fault. a woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we had to go, we all, they give you different jobs. What's yeah, cool yeah. about the yeah, heist is... everybody has a Because I threw down, whoever starts the heist, whoever's high-end apartment it is... Um, they throw down the cash for the equipment. The upfront cost. The upfront cost. So it costs me money to do this heist. But if you win, you profit. Do you profit? Yo, I do. I can do control. I can control everybody's payouts. Oh. Yeah, it's his heist. So, so he can perc- of course, so I, he can percentage me down to zero, which I he can, technically almost did. I <laughs> he percentaged me down to thirty. <laughs> I gave him only thirty percent of the job. <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's still, that's it was still like all he did was play Snake on the phone. That's all he did on his Nokia. Oh, I wasn't sure. Oh yeah, hostages. Oh, so we go into this bank, okay, and apparently my job was to keep the hostages under control. Okay? Well, I was drilling the vault. So he's drilling the vault. My job is to keep the hostages under control, and uh, I'm I'm sitting there pointing my gun at, like, all – you know, like, in the campaign at the very yeah, beginning when you're, like, just pointing the gun at them, and then they get all chatterboxed or whatever? You know, they get all scared? Yeah. 
Well, I'm sitting there pointing my gun at, gun at him, and Lester comes on like the intercom. And the intercom, and he's like, you, uh, he said something like, "You got to make sure that they know who's the boss. You know, you got to teach them a lesson." So I was like, "Okay, there's the lady's kneecap. Boom! I shot her kneecap. She died. Mission, <laughs> it, we lost in the and, middle of my drill." <laughs> And you lose money. Like, oh, no. Yeah. So do you lose everything you put up for all the equipment? No, it checkpointed us. It, it, it oh, checkpointed okay, us, okay, but Thank then goodness. it dropped it down. We could only so – Oh, let's you say, lose what you could get from the heist So well, So let's say you, you, you can earn $100,000. We could only earn seventy after that. It goes down every time you have to restart, basically. Does that make sense? Yeah. So – Aunt Lester told me to shoot her. That's that was so funny. I was like in the middle of drilling the vault, and then it just said we failed. <laughs> it was funny, though. It, it was oh, a good time. And it is good to mention that every person has a specific job. So, because Mark got mad at me because I wasn't shooting the cameras out, but I wasn't supposed to shoot <laughs> yeah, the cameras Apparently, it was out. my job yeah. to shoot the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> but, Jordan, <laughs> stop being stupid and shoot the cameras. It's not my job to shoot the cameras. <laughs> oh, no, no, watch I'm talking. Yeah, no one ever told me to shoot Oh, and we had to go. We go, had to go steal a car from the Koreans, you know? <laughs> so, that you have to do all these missions all yeah, the time. Yeah, you have to do the heist setup heist, and then the heist. It's so fun, by the way. Heist Very are... detailed. Very cool. So, we had to go steal an armored car from the Koreans that looked like the Batmobile. <laughs> That's like the coolest car I've ever played oh. in that game. And we unlocked it. We did. We, we buy, buy yeah, it at now? the end. At Aww. the end, it said armored version and regular version. Unlocked. Oh, cool! And it's it's fast. So, it's... so what kind of payouts do you get in the heist? Are they big payouts? We got a hundred eighty grand. Well, oh. so I got how long? Did I got it... I got one hundred eighty well, grand. How... how much did you get, Jordan? I got I got. <laughs> so what, 30, what happened is right? I got thirty thousand, thirty eight thousand, right? But if you when you complete the heist mission for the first time. It you gives get, you a bonus a hundred thousand. Any so heist I got mission you yeah. complete for the first time, oh, you get a hundred grand. Um, how long did it take you guys to go through? Uh, that was fifty. Wait, and if that was a yeah. two-player one, it, can three players do that heist? No, no. Heist? no. It's like the tutorial. Oh, heist. okay. So I've got to do a tutorial heist. You got to, yeah. Oh, okay. And so I'll let you choose who you want to do it with because. It's fine. Well, you but you know, have to have a higher department, department. So you might just do it. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'll, and I'll give you thirty percent. Yes. It was a good time though. I had a lot of fun playing heist. It really cool. was. So yeah. Anyways, that's what. Uh, pretty much that's that's it. I had. I'm I'm having a lot of stuff happen in work and in life this uh, these last couple of weeks. So. Good things. Good things. Yeah, really good, good things. things. So people might think you're like dying or something. Oh no, yeah, no, no. Good, good, good. Happy, <laughs> busy things in my life right now. So that's all I I was able to play. But Jordan, I'm very glad we played that. Was fun, that was baby. a lot really of fun. fun. This is the segment of our show. That's what this sound means. Where it's really loud right now. <laughs> so the music gets really loud. <laughs> yeah. This is a segment where we just we talk about games we hypothesize, if you will. Theorize. I think we also add some intellectualism with well, I'll just say it. we intellectualize. <laughs> I don't know. Ruin I, I, that, man. We <laughs> intellectualize. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> no, we intellectualize. Anyways, this is the discussion segment of our show. Where we take questions. If you would like to submit questions, you can do so at Twitter, uh, at X One Bros on Twitter, Facebook. Send us email info at x one bros dot com. There are many ways. Today's question first comes from Wayne McKinney. This is what Wayne McKinney has to say. He says, "With all the talk of Titanfall two last week, and with Forza Horizon Fast and Furious standalone expansion, he says I would love to see a Titanfall single player campaign as standalone for Titanfall two. Uh, maybe have two teams hmm. developing independently of each other. Thoughts? He wants to know our thoughts on that. An independent, standalone campaign, maybe prior to the release, maybe as an expansion after the release. Well, there's been a couple of games that have done this, and I don't know. I don't think that it benefits the game. Um, Forza, Forza is the most recent that has done Forza Horizon. I know, see. Yeah, I only played a little bit of that, so I'm thinking like Battlefield Three. They did. I, I believe they did that with. Uh, they had a separate oh. uh, multiplayer, and they had. Well, that was though paid. That was like a separate, entire separate game. Yeah, you had to pay for it, right? What? No, what? I'm, th I'm thinking 1942. It came out. No, during... I'm not talking about that. Oh, okay. I'm talking about. I thought, uh, and I may be wrong, and I'll, I'll look this up while we we're, we're talking. But I thought they had a a, a team. Or a developer just for uh, multiplayer and a developer for the oh, game. Oh, just for campaign. Yeah, or whatever. I, oh, okay. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure that was it. I'll, I'll check. But now, I, now, okay, so take that with a grain of salt. But uh, <laughs> um, I, I am of the opinion personally, and I've made this mention on the show a lot, that 
Uh, if you dedicate to one or the other, the game is benefited. Yeah, um, absolutely. It becomes more polished game, whatever you choose. So I don't know. I I uh, I don't know what he he thinks. Uh, Wayne thinks to ask a question, but I prefer. Um, just like I said, I yeah. really, I really think that they should be just specific to whatever the kind of game, type of game it is. Like Call of Duty, I think there should be no campaign. Mm -hmm. I think it should be straight up multiplayer. You would have a lot less hackers. You would have a lot more polished maps, yeah. et cetera. Jordan, how about you? Would you like to see a standalone, kind of like how Forza, Forza Horizon? Um, I don't know. Honestly, probably not. I think Titanfall was a lot of fun, and everything was dedicated to. Uh, um, the the multiplayer yeah. and I think it benefited because of that and I think the thing with this is it's it's like a Call of Duty game and I think they did the statistics a while ago only ten percent of the people that own Call of Duty play the campaign right I mean so all that and that's hard work you know all those all those different stuff right um, so I just I don't know I think I know there's a lot of people that like the campaigns and I like campaigns too but um, I don't know for for Titanfall. I think Titanfall does a good job of multiplayer, and I think that's their that's yeah. their niche. For you know me, I mean? I, I mean I I agree. I think we all are of the opinion that if you focus on one aspect, we're we're not against. A lot of people think, oh, Titanfall just be multiplayer. That's not a good business model or strategy. I think we're all of the opinion that it is a good business model and strategy. We think it. Well, makes... it's it's what it's that's what they do. You yeah, know? they they, they do it. Their they, game is they do it well. However, I wouldn't mind seeing like what Forza did, where after the game comes out and it's it's polished and it's it's all taken care of. If then at that time there is a standalone DLC that is just the, maybe a small little campaign, give us a little more lore and story backdrop. Well, and and even um. So, because let's be honest, I have no idea why the two factions are fighting against each other. I uh, kind of do. Except, I mean, but yeah. there's no like deep like yeah. what's the big political struggle? It's just a generic. Yeah. Well, Vince Vince and Pelly last week when we were talking about all this did say that they learned a lot from their multiplayer campaign in the first one, and he said they've if they looked at it now, there was def there's definitely ways they'd redo it, and you know so. Maybe when it comes yeah. out, their their new version of this multiplayer will campaign multiplayer, will will be what we want, better. right? Yeah. So maybe, but uh, as a standalone campaign, I think for Titanfall, I just don't think Titanfall needs it. You know what I mean? I think their game is multiplayer. That's what they do, and they do it good. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, absolutely. Question, Thanks, though. Wayne, for yeah. the question. Thank Excellent you. question. Um, this comes from V Two X Vibes uh, in chat. He wants to know. Any 8-game or 16-bit games that you guys would like to see come to the Xbox One? Past, present, maybe something I have such a large list, it's not even funny. So any 8-bit game or any 16-bit game? Yes. My list is massive. I got one. Okay. Uh, Fox's Peter Pan. One of my all-time favorite games. Actually, it's not I, really. It's 16-bit. I don't think. I think it's a 16-bit game. It, you could fly in is it. it which, what console is it Super on? Super Nintendo. Yeah, sixteen bits. I don't remember playing that. And I thought oh, I played every Super Nintendo you can game. Find either that or also a, one of my favorite, A Boy in His Blob. A Boy in His I Blob. I remember that one. Great game. That and that would fit well on what is big in platformers now. It's it's puzzly. It's uh, you know your blob could turn into a ladder, into a hole, into a trampoline, whatever you needed to get through the level. Yeah. So those those are those are my two picks. Um, do you want me to just start naming games or? Let's go two. What two. Are, what are two? Uh, my favorite Instant game of, comes to mind. Go. Don't my favorite it. game of all time, Legend of Zelda: a Link to the Past. That's never going to happen, but that would there. be cool. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I know. But, but I know this is. Uh, is this real life? Like what? Are we, what? It's what I think. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no. That we're wow. all saying that would be I awesome. Feel, I, I thought this was a place where I could be, you know, myself. <laughs> this is a safe zone. This, I thought it was a safe <laughs> zone. Is this? Is this, is this a safe not zone. a safe yes. zone? Yeah, we could still say that it will never happen, but. Okay, Maybe and Xbox will buy a Nintendo one day. Well, see, and the see, well, Super Nintendo, all those games are like licensed by Nintendo, kind of. Yeah. Thing. Like Metroid, I would no. love Metroid, Super Metroid. Yeah. I, that's. <sighs> those those okay. are my two. I'll just say those two then. Wait, can I? Do I have to choose outside of like? Yeah, let, let's say one that could come to the Xbox. Maybe maybe someone buys the IP and brings it back. Let's go to Jordan real quick. Why you think? I'm what? with Trabador. But I, I like those two. I mean, who does it? I mean, if it were up to my me. My feelings are hurt. No. I'm, no, oh, I, remember Bubble Bobble? No. Hey, Rock and Roll yeah, Racing. That I was would, mine. I would you can't take that. Rock and Roll Racing. No, that's mine. That'd be a good one. Dang it. I was going to say that, too, without even looking at chat. We were talking Battle about... Battletoads. We were talking earlier. That's kind of Battle like, Toads. It's that's, kind of already coming oh, out. That game I got one. Hard. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, Turtles yeah. in Time. Those would all Turtles be Turtles in fun. Time. You remember that game? You could go four-player, co-op. I mean, oh, that'd be, that'd be a good I remember... Punch Out. 
Oh, super never get that one. Punch out or there. super punch that's out. Super See, punch that's out. an attack. Yeah, but I would do Turtles in Time. That's a fantastic. Uh, that's probably the best. What do you call those genres where it's like a uh, contra like? It's it's con- yeah, but it's more like you know like uh, an arcade style. Four people can play that. Yeah, I it, don't know. It, it, what is that genre? It's what's that like Battle Axe? I I have no idea. You remember the, that you know or uh, X Men the arcade X Men. Uh, greatest line in any video game, Mag- Magneto in the first scene, he goes, he blows everybody up and he goes, Welcome to die! <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite lines in any video game. Um, huh. no, anyways, yeah, I would, I, would say, uh, I would say Rock and Roll Racing. I love that game. Mm-hmm. Had good music, man. And wasn't that, didn't we discuss that that was Blizzard? Who Blizzard? Did, who did, did Rock uh, and Roll Racing? I don't think Blizzard did Rock what, and Roll what, Racing. What was Blizzard's first game? Blizzard's first game? Or one of their first. We've got the Google machine on it. I know. Yeah. Anyways, great question. Thank you, uh, V2X Vibes. The next question comes from Gavin Cooper. Uh, he wants to know, does anyone else want a new or even remastered Star Wars Night of the Old Republic game? I'd love to see one. That'd be cool. I think the answer by all of us is, heck, yes, we do. Yeah, Who doesn't want to see cool. that? That's a good game. I'm full of terrible. I'm, oh, now Blizzard. So, hold on. Rock and Roll Racing was developed by Silicon and Synapse. And it's now that company has now changed to Blizzard. Oh, oh cool, cool! Boom! Right. Knowledge bomb, right all here. All over the place. Splat! Okay. All over the I place. I thought I was. I thought I was just naming out all this <laughs> false information. But okay, sorry. Um, Nick, thank you, Google. Nick Sauer wants to know. He says he just bought a Seagate hard drive. Uh, it says it's compatible with Windows 8. Will it be compatible with Windows 10? Uh, I just wanted to answer that because there might be other people with that question. Yes, the answer is yes, it will be. You don't need to worry about a Windows 8 hard drive not working on your Xbox when they move to the new Windows 10 interface. In no. fact, that's a big thing that they're they're pushing. In fact, big news on the Windows 10 side. We didn't talk about this in news section because it's not really Xbox news. But League of Legend, uh, Legends. League of Legends, sorry, LOL is uh, <laughs> LOL is. Uh, going to come to Windows 10. And at first it's like, well, what does that mean? It's already on the PC. What it means is it basically will come as a pre-installed app on Windows 10. Wow. And, That's the new Minesweeper? And for China, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and for China, which is not big on um, the new Windows, I guess they're all, in China they all run on way old, Windows 98 or Windows XP, whatever. Uh-huh. Um, it's a big deal because that's in China. I mean, that's their biggest game. It's going to really... Push people to Windows 10 in China. Pre-installed on Windows Pre-installed, yeah. That's crazy. League of Legends is the new Solitaire. Yep. Wow. Mm-hmm. Cool, huh? Yeah. That is really cool. Anyways, huh. I don't know why we... Well, are they going to put on uh, mine, uh, Minecraft as well? Because Microsoft owns that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, but Phil Spencer came out this week. Uh, speaking of Minecraft, great. Phil Spencer came out this week uh, and talked about... Uh, I mean, this was the headline of, of, of a bunch of articles. The real reason Microsoft bought Minecraft, and it wasn't the real reason. He just kind of gave a little more business. To make money. <laughs> yeah. The real reason is because it's a billion-dollar industry. It's because huge. Because it was the number, the number two video searched on YouTube last <laughs> yeah. year. Wasn't it number behind, one? No, behind music. But <laughs> oh, what, he yeah. said, the thing was what he said was one of the reasons they bought it is because it is one of – it is this huge – Software, this like a huge culture. piece of software used on every single device, and that they could l- use it to see how they could utilize Windows 10. They could mimic it and say, "This is how we want Windows 10 and other games to be utilized on every single device." Mm-hmm. Right, and that, and it's like, "Wow, that's a really that's good business insight right there." Yeah. Just interesting behind the scenes kind of stuff on Minecraft. Yeah. The billions of dollars they'll make along the way will really help them out too. <laughs> yeah. The billions of dollars they make will help. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, come on. How many people probably spent thousands of dollars on skin packs when The Simpsons came out? You yeah, know that's I mean? true. Like that, that game the is a money maker. Sense. Yeah, that's it's so good. Uh, Adam Joins has a specific question. This is a for Jordan question only. Oh, he I'm said, out. Oh, sweet. He said, this next one is for Jordan. Ooh. I don't even, uh, I don't even know. Is, is there a character you are disappointed that isn't returning in Mortal Kombat or Ooh. hope that is returning? He said, uh, for instance, there's rumors of Cyrex. Is it Cyrex? Cyrex. Cyrex and Nightwolf. Nightwolf was fun. So I hope, is, I hope he Nightwolf? comes back. Um, Cyrex was fun too. Okay, look. As long as they have Scorpion, who is my favorite character, who, I'm the who Scorpion. Has one of the coolest. Kill yeah, I am this. I am on the Scorpion bandwagon all the way. I love that. If they ever get rid of him, I'm out. <laughs> so, where you? Where would you go? I I'd go to Dead or Alive or something. But mm. No, no. Um, the volleyball edition. The volleyball edition. <laughs> uh, no, I think 
Yeah, oh, man, that's a tough one. Because I really, I really do only play Scorpion. Uh, well, I play Sub Zero sometimes too. But uh, ooh, Night Wolf was a fun one. He was like, he was an Indian. He had like a tomahawk and he'd throw it at people. <laughs> it, it was really cool. Um, who was the who, one that was dang. drunk? He did the drunken boxing. Drunken boxing, I don't or know. like the drunken form of fighting. I don't know. I don't remember. I was a little kid when I played that game. The the drunken one. Yeah, he's drunken. He does the drunken fighting. Uh, Am I thinking? Of oh, the I know. Yeah, I know. No, I think I, you're I, thinking I, of Tekken, right? Isn't that the? No, no, no. You're not thinking of Tekken? No, it's. I, I definitely know it's not Tekken. Maybe chat will know. There, because I, I remember a drunk dude on that. That would be like the. I, I think every game has has the drunk fighter. <laughs> well, yeah, it's because oh. it's a. It's like one of the first Jackie Chan movies. Well, you know, well, I, I I assumed she would be in it, but Jade's not in it. She was a fun character to play too, according to you know. She'll be in it. She's pretty. I'm sure she mainstream. will. Right? Hmm. Well, okay. So what? I, what? I, what? I will be disappointed if they don't bring him in, and he is a rumored character. Oh, if they don't bring Street Fighter. <laughs> if they don't bring, <laughs> yeah. If they don't bring, sorry, uh, sorry guys, that was Street Fighter, not Mortal Kombat. <laughs> if they, I knew it was a fighting game. <laughs> if they don't bring Striker back, he's a mystery character right now. He's the rumored character. To, I hope he. I will be definitely disappointed. He was a fun character to play. He tase you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, dude. His. His uh, I love to be. His, he knows I love to be. His tased. X-ray move was awesome. <laughs> right pointed to you. Yeah. I know. And he like uh, you know which, me you know which character that. I hate, and I hope I don't offend anybody uh, because I hate this character. King Lao? <laughs> no, no, no. Because I I hate this character. That's Kung Lao. Kung Lao. Sorry. <laughs> King Lao. King Lao. <laughs> so I I I honestly uh, hate this character a lot. I I have a very deep passion for this character. To hate him. To hate him. Oh, noob. I hate oh. him so much. Oh. He was – I finally – I finally – because they would uh, – okay, so – Slow down. Okay, so overpowered for yeah. Noob. Yeah. Noob, I didn't like him because I thought he was stupid because every time I played him, they would just use the same move where he he disappears underneath and then, like, picks you up and slams you. And they would just redo that move over – hey, if you want to redo a move, that's fine. I do it myself sometimes, just trolling people, right? But that move was, like, so hard to block. You, I finally <laughs> figured it out. It was like when we had... And I would uh, get so mad. I finally figured it out, and now I can beat Noob, but I hate him. Let me and tell I you, will always hate let him. Let me tell you, Jordan is a pretty easygoing guy. <laughs> but when he plays fighting games, and, and he's not the type that, that gets pissed off and throws the controller and walks away, he just gets pissed off and keeps playing. <laughs> and it just keeps building in fighting games. And the best is when we were playing, and we've talked about it before, but I would be Superman in the Mortal Kombat. Yeah, see, that was stupid DC too. Comics. He was overpowered, man. I was Superman, and what all I would do, and Jordan could never well, figure Superman's it out. Superman's always over. He's Superman. Yeah. He's no one could ever. No, not no one, but Jordan could never figure it out because I'd get my butt kicked by other people or online. But all I would do is fly up in the air, and laser eyeball him. <laughs> Right, and he'd be like, "Oh!" And then he did figure it out, and all I would do is step back and freeze him with my breath, <laughs> <laughs> and I would just go back and forth. And I've never uh, seen like rage builds in this man <laughs> when he does fighting games. So I'm, uh, I'm looking. We're, we're gonna when we stream this on Twitch. When you get it, we're gonna have a camera on you, yeah. <laughs> because uh, well, it's it's the one game that like you get mad at your friends when you play, and it's like, no, one more. We gotta play. It's one like more. Monopoly. Yeah. It just, so, it just tears people, actually, tears friendships apart. There's actually a lot of characters that are still mystery. I mean, uh, uh, Smoke, he's a good one to play as that I'm kind of, you know, I hope I hope they come. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what was your answer? Uh, You've said, like, every character. Uh, basically, I'll you be. You don't want noob. I don't want. I, look, if he's there, he's there. I know how to beat and him. And Jax, now. right? Um, no, I didn't say Jax. Oh, wait, who did Jade. I say? She wants Jade. Jade, Jade yeah, Jade. a little disappointed. Sorry. Jade's not going to be in there. But uh, they said in chat, Jade is dead. Well, I know that. Whoa! Well, spoiler still, you alert! Bring, you can bring her back, man. The chat said the same thing. Spoiler alert! So. <laughs> Why would you? Well, Look, hold up! It's, it's Mortal Kombat. It's, it's a, a Mortal Kombat. Everybody's game. technically yeah. supposed yeah. to be dead. <laughs> How many times do you when you when you kill? Have you not seen the in Mortal Kombat They're one? Dead. They die in Mortal Kombat one. I remember taking someone's head right off. <laughs> <laughs> like technically, they're dead. <laughs> Everybody. I can see the spine and everything. I know she's dead, but All you right. can still put her in multiplayer. You know what I mean? She's a good character to play, right? She's like Katana. If they ever take out Katana, I'd be disappointed too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ken, ever... trust me, okay. everybody's dead in that game. <laughs> okay, anyway, moving on. No, 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 no. The, the answer is, if they don't put Striker in, I'll be disappointed. Striker's okay. a good character. Okay. Are you excited for? Your and I hate Noob. Huh? And you hate Noob. <laughs> I'm gonna that's, post that on Twitter funny. right now, actually. You're going to post on Twitter that you hate right, Noob? Yeah. <laughs> that, came, that came from Adam Joins. Thank you, Adam Joins, for that question. Next question comes from Gamertag Shags. 
O2, Shags O2, also known as Mitchell Hedge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he says, uh, uh, this is a great question to end the show on as well as I saved it for last. He says, I want to know, as a kid, the game you spent the most hours in or series you played over and over. His was Crash Bandicoot, and that is a good game. Remember Crash Bandicoot? Yeah. Fun. Lots of fun. So the game as Naughty a kid, dog. you spent tons of time playing, and you played over and over. Mine was M- um, not MVP. What was it? I don't remember. Oh, it was Major League Baseball, MLB. I don't know if it was called MLB. But it was a baseball game on the Nintendo 64. I think it actually might have even been Maguire baseball at the time. It was hmm. Sammy Sosa and Maguire hmm. going for the home runs. Anyways, I played that tons. Me and my friends would we would all be pitchers or batters, and we'd make our own teams with our own characters, and we just make we'd go for the home run records, or and we play through seasons. And I played seasons and seasons and seasons of that game. Uh, that game and also Football Manager, which is a soccer game. Yeah. Football Manager 99. I played the crap out of yeah, that game. Because you didn't really play that game. You hours managed. and hours. It was great. You we, were the I coach. Was, I was wheeling and dealing, man. <laughs> you were getting those dealing, players. Getting players, scouting out new ones, getting them to gel. This is hard because I've got – I. Uh, can I answer now? Yeah. yeah Do yeah. I have the floor? Uh, I'm going to give three games, I think. Um from least to to most that I I have played and I've gone back to again and again and again, um, I mentioned it earlier in the show. Top Gear, I believe it's called Top Gear Three Thousand or Top Gear Two Thousand no. from the Super Nintendo. I love that game. That game was a re. You could that was one of the first like games that. Well, it's a racing game. You can replay those games. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and that was that was I I put a lot of time into that. Uh, the next game I would say Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, my favorite game of all time. I probably go back and play that. I have it on my phone on an N- NSES uh, emulator. I probably go back to that game every other year. Yeah. And because the more time I let it slide, the more things I have to figure out how to do. Yeah. Because you know, yeah. I forget stuff. Uh, gr- greatest, my favorite game of all time. The game that I played the most of and put in the most time is Mario Kart Nintendo 64. Oh, nice. Um, I I went. I mean, if you went to college when that game came out, although Goldeneye. Uh, was a pretty big one. But, Goldeneye uh, was huge for me. I played Star Fox a lot on the 64. That was good. Yeah, that was good. I loved the... I would always do the... Shh, the, the not a barrel roll, the, yeah, but whatever it's the, called. Yeah, the, the loop. loop. Um, and I always thought, wow, this looks so good. I would say I would say Mario Kart. I would say it's a tie between Mario Kart and Goldeneye. But uh, during... Those were, those were out in high school and college times, and I think I didn't get much sleep in college because <laughs> of those games. So, yeah. Those are mine. Cool. Jordan. Uh, I don't know. There's a few. Um, there's Halo on the original Xbox. Spent a lot of time there because of the LAN parties and stuff. Uh, there's Ghost Recon on the original Xbox. Spent oh, a lot yeah. of time in there. Ghost Recon. Uh, there's StarCraft, original StarCraft, and Brood War. Spent more time oh, in Brood StarCraft. War. Oh, yeah. StarCraft. I forgot about StarCraft. And we probably, put, and probably, I put time into that game, man. The and probably, probably the Vanilla Warcraft, too. Where, oh, oh Anthony, I I was really into RuneScape in middle school. Tides of Darkness, so, yes, like when you say Vanilla Warcraft, is like the Tides of Darkness. Original World of Warcraft, yeah. yeah so Warcraft. like, no, no, not Tides War- of Darkness. World of well, Warcraft. the first. Oh, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft, yeah. Oh. Vanilla Warcraft. So. Not Warcraft. That's what it's. The real that, it's called Vanilla game. Warcraft. Oh, I yeah, played Command and no, Conqueror. Playing time. original first one. Wait, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. The the MMO. Yes, that's not the first one. That's not the first Warcraft, but that's the first World of Warcraft. <laughs> The first That's MMO. Some ma- the it first MMO. Mm-hmm. I played the first Warcraft. Vanilla, you can't say Vanilla Warcraft. No, Vanilla WoW. That's what they call it. That's what we call oh. it. That's what we call it. That's Man. what we call it down at the, down okay. in the dungeon. Yeah, I never <laughs> played that game, so I guess I'm I'm not cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Tides of Darkness I put a lot of time yeah. into. Burning Good. Crusade, Lich King. Yeah. Kind of those, well, no, 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 I'm talking greater. about like the real like R- RTS. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, real-time yeah. strategy. The first game. one. That's your Stormwind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever, David. Back to you. I play the original Warcraft as well. Oh, so good! Yeah, it was really good. It was it was that and Command and Conquer that you would go back and forth between, and then Starcraft. Because I remember destroyed both of those. I re- <laughs> yeah, because it added a third, uh, it added a third race. Yeah, you know, and and it wasn't. It kind of was rock paper scissors, but it wasn't. It added a new Starcraft was just a crazy dynamic where, yeah. um, it's just you had to be good and understand it a lot more deeper because it's not just two races that rock, paper, scissors balance, you know, balance the game. It's, it's a combination of a whole bunch of deeper strategy. 
And that's why that's what blew my my mind when I first played StarCraft. Way way cool game. Yeah. Man, I'll put that on there. Every game I think that I've liked, I put way too much time <laughs> Every into. Every game that I put tons of time in. Also, the Good original call. Civilization. I had, I have hundreds, if not thousands, of hours in that. That was and and it literally we would play hot seat with my friends and we would just whoop, take turns. Sim City. Oh, oh, the original, the original. Sim where you could get like Donkey Kong or whatever, oh, and I would just plowing through. Huge, Godzilla which, was one of those. Yeah, Godzilla Skylines is out, and I really want that game. There's just it's that is a, such a tough question. Whoever um, asked that, yeah, that was a great question. Uh, that comes from Shags02 Gamer Tag. Great question. Thank and, you so much. And really cool that uh, the first question uh, from Vibes was uh, eight bit to sixteen bit coming back. I would, I hope that these games that we played in our youth come back in some way or shape well, or I form. Could, I could see it as a big, I mean, a quick way to, to for especially really big games. If you get a huge title. A, a big gaming company now buys the old IP and just boom, Reap throws it on. Reap, like XCOM, you know, yeah, like like the original XCOM. XCOM, and they they which act- I had on floppy disk. <laughs> That's so. And awesome. It was like six of them that you had to put in to install. And I like what they did. I I generally liked what they did with the new XCOM. That they, yeah, bring it out. They That's they Civilization. Yeah, you can bring out the old one and what? then uh, Fair Axis owns XCOM oh. now. Yeah, who they did a good job. They did yeah. a good job on the XCOM. Yeah, so. It was really cool. That is, uh, don't forget to sign up for the FIFA tournament if you haven't. That's next. IDARP tournament, uh, I believe a match is happening on this channel right after this. The We commentate on it. It's a good time. We will. Uh, those will go up on YouTube, so check those out. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. And uh, if you friend us on Xbox Live, we will friend you back, Mr. McSpicy. You can find me at Mr. McSpicy, um, my Twitter that's my Twitter <laughs> and Xbox Live. Actually, anywhere you can find me on Steam. Everything I'm Mr. McSpicy. Um, Jordan, uh, I'm Jordan the Man XOB. Everywhere. What do you guys plan on playing this week? Final uh, Fantasy Type Zero. Uh, it depends on what Halo Five messages. If it's a beta, uh, I'm playing that. But yeah. uh, maybe Life is Strange. But I want to do heists. Yeah, I'm there. Especially okay. if it's working now. If we can, if we can all. Well, it's not together. working, but we can get in. <laughs> and I have not had a chance to play Ori yet. And oh, I have that. I will oh, be I gotta do that one too. I will I be finishing that too, Ori. Yeah. That is. So maybe I'll go buy the soundtrack. I want to. I want to play that too. Yeah, that is grand. Don't forget. There's, a, this is, there's too many. Now I'm getting overwhelmed with games. <laughs> yeah. There's too many now. Uh, don't forget, everyone, uh, subscribe to our newsletter if you haven't. It is excellent. It should be dropping. Oh, you're this, asking me. This week. This week, yeah. Or It'll be weekend, over the weekend. Or over the weekend, it will be dropping. So if you haven't, uh, go check out the newsletter there. Have fun this week. This is your Positive Gaming and Xbox One community, and we will see you guys later. Yes! See ya.